What's cracking, peeps? It's the A Train coming at you with another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. Real excited for this show today. If you're on the West Coast, our bass, they're in that pre spawn mode right now, so you know what that means. Yes, I'm bringing out the big baits. So, first, by Bait Sanity, uh, this is the one shown in carp right here. Great, beautiful finish right here. I love these glide. You got to throw the glide baits this time of year. Carp, they love to just eat those bass eggs, so she's going to be super protective of any carp in the area. So with these glide baits, I like to give them just a little half twitch of the reel, give it that side-to-side -side S action. So um, definitely step up your tackle, step up your game, get some of these gliders also. We also got replacement tails for those bass and here's the one in trout right here uh also in carp so if you get a couple replacement tails just in case you lose one next by magnum baits we got the mauler creature bait this is the heavyweight champion of creature baits it's the biggest and the baddest weighing in at a whopping 1.2 ounces but this thing is neutrally buoyant though texas rig it carolina rig it I recommend it on a Magnum shaky head. It's gonna stand up in that defensive position, which is gonna challenge any bass. So definitely beef your tackle up. Use it as a bed bait also. You'll be very impressed with the results. Next, by Reaction Innovation, we got the machete. I love this paddle tail worm. So it's got the ribs going all the way down the body, which is gonna displace a lot of water. That true thumper tail. So you could buzz this on the surface, uh, put it on a shaky head, Texas rig, Carolina rig. You could also take the little appendages off right here and uh, have that, that J style worm. So it's like two worms in one basically. So if you want a little something different with your standard paddle tail worm, this may be the worm for you. Next by Mollux, we got the Lover Titanium Spinnerbait. So what's good about these, when a big bass comes and hits your spinnerbait, sometimes the, the arm gets in the way, but with this titanium, it snaps back into place, which gives her more of that hook right there. So it's definitely going to increase the vibration, uh, even the flash also. Uh, so when you're in the burning spinnerbaits, you're going to get maximum flash with these things. So step up your spinnerbait game. Try some of these titanium blades out. Next, we got the long-awaited... Toad Runner. So these are by Booyah. They are on pre-order though, so I'd suggest you get these now. They're going to be gone as soon as we get them, basically. So it's got that plopper tail, but what's unique about this one, unlike the other ones, is it's got this wire harness through there, so you could actually customize it. If you don't want as much uh, bubble trail commotion, you could actually uh, bend these in to kind of tone it down a little, or you could leave it out, get that maximum uh, thump. So um, get you some braided line. It's gonna come through the weeds with ease. And also it's got these double trocar frog hooks. So these things are sticky. So definitely get these on pre-order right now. Next by Flat Out Tungsten, we got the Flat Out Tungsten weights. So we got one available for punching. You can add your own skirt to it. The other one uh, just for uh, pegging and punching through. Um, what's unique about these is they use this four step chemical process, which basically it comes in one color and it's a permanent finish, so now you don't have to worry about your weights fading out, um, chipping, or anything. It's just a permanent finish on these things. So uh, you need some good tucks of weights. You don't have to worry about color anymore or painting them. Uh, give these a try. Next by Damiki, we got the Armor Sheds, and we got them in a bunch of new colors. So here's one in Ghost Pearl Blue and uh, Bluegill, but we got some other colors right here. So these are perfect for this time of year. The water's still cold. You want that Damiki rig going. They got other applications also. You could drop shot them, put them on small underspins. Uh, many different applications. So check out the new colors of these Damiki armor shads. Thanks for tuning in. And for more information on the product seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments which of these products you're pumped about.